Yo, what's going on with your YouTube drummer Chris here? We're coming back at y'all with another vid. Now what we have here today, bam, that's right. And these are the Air Jordan 4 white Oreos, gray text, whatever you want to call these things, man. First I want to just say is these things are, these things are nice, man. These things are actually pretty fire. I must say, clean colorway. You guys already know the hype on Air Jordan 4, especially this year going on. This is a pretty nice shoe. I love the materials. I love this tumbleness, man. I miss tumble leather shoes, man. Like, this is really nice. It's really clean. And yes, I know Air Jordan 4 is there. Everybody loves the Nike in the back, but it just doesn't have it. But it's okay, though. Now, this does also remind me of the black Oreos uh, that came out with, I think it was like 2015 or 16, something like that. Definitely reminds me a lot of it, the material wise. I remember those were in the start of the whole remastered, people were calling it, uh, cause they were trying to actually put out good quality. Cause back then quality shoes wasn't all that great in Jordans and they still aren't either right now, you know what I mean? So, but they're trying to get back to this day. Like they're trying to go back to the OG, OG ways, but not really. Now these are set to release on July 3rd. So we got about a whole one month here. Try to get this early review for you guys so you guys can decide what you guys think about these things and if you guys plan on copping or not. I'm pretty sure that everyone's gonna probably try to get these things and I'm pretty sure these things are gonna end up selling out day one. These things might end up going for bread too as well because it's the Air Jordan 4, it's all white shoe. It's that classic, you know, cement color. And I know a lot of people already wanna go ahead and compare these to the original, to the OG uh, white cements, which are these. And of course, these are the GOAT. And these things came out in 2016, I wanna say. Got the Nike in the back though, but the leather quality, I must say, I just like this thick tumbleness. I really do, you know? And you guys can already see. I I'm gonna get into that review and I'm gonna show you all about it, but this is such a great colorway. And and not everybody has a white cement OG uh, Air Jordan 4. So they're probably like, hey, this is definitely a good alternate. Of course, doesn't have the Nike in the back, but it's all good, man. Still a great colorway. And it's one of those colors that you can just put these, put anything together, you know, with. And this is just one of those colorways you can just put anything together with and it's just gonna look great. But anyways, let's just go ahead, let's get into this review real quick, huh? First things first, let's take a quick little 360 of these things here. I must say, man, it's a clean colorway. It's a clean shoe. So you talking about how the great quality of the shoe is. And I look, let me just show you guys real quick. Just look at that. Nice and buttery. Like this is what I'm talking about. Jordans, I hope they put more great leather quality on any Jordans. And this whole, the whole upper here is this leather material too as well. It's basically all tumbled throughout. You have your side, you have your side netting here, and this is rubber side netting on the side. Get your hit of cement prints here on the lace, the lace eyelids. You have your white rubber wing logo on the side. Even on the midsole too, you do have this hit of cement print on the side and on the midsole. And you guys can see you got that clear air bubble throughout. And then moving on to the pull tab in the back. The pull tab in the back here is this leather piece material. And you can see that 3D, see that 3D uh, Jumpman popping on the back. And this is plastic and this is in gray. On the inner side as well, same thing. Got your uh, white rubber netting on the side. Moving on to the tongue here. On the tongue is covered with this rubber netting too as well. You got your flat rope laces in white. And then moving all the way up to the tongue here. Usually Air Jordan 4s have like a tag, but instead they have the stitch in imported Air Jordan Red Jumpman. Inside the insoles, as you guys can see, you got this uh, silver tech gray nylon sock liner inside. It's pretty, actually pretty nice. And then same material on the back of the tongue too as well. And on the back of the tongue, it does have a tag here. It says Air Jordan. And then inside the insole here, you have that white insole with your red jumpman inside and then in the front of the toe box here you have your gray tech stars on the toe box here and then on the bottoms uh you have your white outsole here you got your baby jumpman and be careful with this white outsole because like i said since it's all white these will get dirty make sure you guys get on that drip grip sole protector guys the best sole protector on the market today protect the soles make sure for it doesn't get dirty or doesn't ruin the soles 
and and this is the best soul protector on the market today like i said no slippage no tears multiple wears protect your souls and don't forget to use my discount code jumperman10 save you a little bit of money so there you guys have it these are the air jordan 4 white oreos you guys let me know what you guys think about these things to me this is definitely a cop this is probably one of the better air jordan 4s that come out so far this year I know uh, I really like the UNC 4s, even the Taupe Haze 4s, and you know, this one here probably had to be, I'm, I have it behind the UNC 4s, but still a great and clean colorway. I probably would have had this a little bit higher if I didn't have the original white OG uh, white cements, just so it would be like another great alternate. And I was, remember I was hearing last year like there was going to be a white cement Air Jordan 4, which I was kind of like... Why would they do that? Because we just had one like four years ago. Why would we need another re-retro of them? So this is what it is, I'm, I'm assuming. And not exactly like the whole uh, OG way, but it's okay. It's nice. It's nice. I think these, thing, these things will uh, sell out. I think these things are going to sell out day one. I, I have a feeling people will stroke out too as well. My opinion, these things probably will be around that 300 day one and so on and so forth. I don't think these things gonna be anything crazy like, you know, 400 or anything, something like that. But these things are gonna be going at least some decent amount of bread. Maybe like 250, you know, down the road and about 300 around, hover around that range. But there will be profit to be made. And even GS sizes too as well, because it's all white shoe, just goes with everything. And like I said, it is a clean colorway. So make sure you guys mark your calendar on July 3rd. Good luck getting these things, putting your footwork in. Hopefully you're gonna be able to cop. Anyway guys, that's pretty much in of the video, video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys let me know what you guys think about these. Uh, but if you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications for when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media at Chris on IG. Sometimes I'm on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all, love y'all. I'm Jumpman Chris. Peace.